and welcome to the Kin Startup Kit presentation. This kit and presentation are brought to you by the Canadian Kinesiology Alliance, the voice of kinesiologists across Canada and the Provincial Kinesiology Associations. My name is Brooke Hamilton. I am a registered kinesiologist in Ontario and the coordinator for the Kin Startup Kit program at the CK. Thank you for your interest in kinesiology in Canada, and mostly thank you for connecting with the CK to be better informed before embarking on your career or continuing your studies. Oh, you don't know what you should do next? Should you continue to further your studies or should you launch your career? How would you do this? So what is the Kin Startup Kit? This tool has been developed for Kins across Canada by the CK to help students of kinesiology and physical activity as they are about to enter the workforce or continue their studies. I will show you how and why the Kin Startup Kit is a great tool for undergrads and grads to get used and started to as Kins. Although targeted towards students and new grads, the kit provides an abundance of information for active kinesiologists across Canada as well. We will dive more into this shortly. The website, kinstartupkit.ca, has been broken down into six main pillars of knowledge with commonalities that aim to answer questions and guide you in your profession after university. In each pillar, there is information in subsequent submenus that you can explore and that will answer questions that you may have. In our presentation today, we will cover each of the six pillars of information, as well as what you can find in each section. We will first address who the CK is and what we do for you, including the professional resources that are available to all of our affiliated kinesiologists, get to know about the provincial associations, learn what the Kin Startup Kit is and what it can do for you, and talk about the opportunities available to you through our partnerships. Before we get started, I'd like to share with you a disclosure with regards to the information being presented today. The information made available through this website and this presentation may differ from one province to another. The primary purpose of this website and presentation is to provide kinesiologists information, examples of resources, tools and materials, definitions, job titles, scope of practice, etc. As kinesiology is provincially legislated, all of these may be different from one province to another. The CKA is not responsible for consequences and damages that may occur as an outcome of its use or misuse, incomplete use and misadaptation, or its interpretation. It is to be stressed that the aim is to guide kins, and if anyone has difficulty over interpretation, they should seek independent advice. New and seasoned kinesiologists may have questions about other professionals that are similar to kinesiologists and changes or updates occurring in our professional world. The Who's Who section of the Kin Startup Kit website provides you with an up-to-date answer, including legislation changes, statements about professional differences, and direction for your province-specific queries. It is not uncommon for Kins across Canada to have questions about how other professionals, such as exercise physiologists, are similar or different from kinesiologists. This type of question can lead to confusion for the professional, you, and potentially for your clients. The CKA has worked hard to provide clear and accurate information in this section about the differences between professionals, as well as evolving updates in legislation. Now, do you know the answer to these key questions? Do you need to be a member of the College of Kinesiologists of Ontario to practice in a province other than Ontario? What is a professional order? A college? How do you differentiate CATA and CSEP from the CK and the PKs? How do the CK and CSEP organizations compare? If I am a kinesiologist with the CK, do I have to maintain my CSEP certification? What is the difference in the scope of practice? Why does CSEP not cover the entire scope of kinesiology? What is the difference in professional liability insurance? As a kinesiologist, can I work with the same clientele as a CSEP exercise physiologist? The impact of kinesiology on our health system and economically is enormous. In Canada, there are over 6,000 practicing kinesiologists, of which 4,300 are members of their provincial professional associations, namely the nine provincial kinesiology associations, referred to as the PKs and the Canadian Kinesiology Alliance, the CK. The CK is a not-for-profit organization representing the nine provincial kinesiology associations that are member associations. The CK works with a broad group of stakeholders that include industry, government, and other health professional association groups. The CK acts to unify and harmonize the governance and standards for kinesiology within Canada. 
We work together across Canada with BCAK, AKA, MK, OK, FKQ, NBK, KANS, NLK, and KPEI. At this time, Saskatchewan does not have a provincial kinesiology association. And if you are from the territories, a northern province, or Saskatchewan, you may refer directly to the CK. For all nine other provinces, we encourage you to get to know your provincial association as they will be a reliable resource throughout your career. Now, as I mentioned, in kinesiology, as in any healthcare profession, it's legislated provincially, which means that each province governs the practice of kinesiology a little bit differently from the other provinces across Canada. This is because of different existing laws, rules, and regulations linked to professional orders and their interpretations. Being a member of your provincial association becomes very important in your career in kinesiology because they are your hub of information to understanding all these differences. Now, as you can see on the slide, there are a number of different titles for kinesiologists across Canada. These titles vary by province. For example, in Alberta, you would see a professional kinesiologist for kinesiology treatments versus in New Brunswick, you would see a certified kinesiologist. A kinesiologist in any province can also become an affiliated kinesiologist by obtaining membership with your provincial association. Given that the mandate for the CK is national in scope, over the years it has worked hard to build mutually beneficial and cooperative relationships with provincial associations and groups. In striving to be the unifying voice for the profession of kinesiology in Canada, the CKA works continually to advance, promote, and advocate for kinesiology through meaningful partnerships and alliances, which we'll talk about later in this presentation. We are also working to ensure that kinesiology is recognized as a leading healthcare profession in Canada. In order to do that, the CKA has created a hub of resources so that our kinesiologists have access to the most up-to-date and clear information that is available. The CKA will provide you with promotional material to use for events, to promote your services, and to let you be known in your community, information on standards, scope of practice, professional insurance, and competency requirements. Did you know that if you can use alternative therapies, are you covered if you're asked to treat someone with diabetes? What information needs to be on your receipts, and can your clients or patients submit them to their extended health benefits plan for reimbursement? Find out here. The CKA and PKs are hubs of information for you. Visit CKA.ca to find out about national scale events, such as National Kinesiology Week in November and the KinCan Conference, statistical information about kins across Canada, and to get involved, involved in events like the Movometer. As I mentioned earlier, the CKA provides promotional material to kinesiologists to help in the delivery of their services and to promote themselves within their community. These resources are sent directly to your inbox after completing your membership with the CKA. The CKA provides you with promotional resources, such as fillable business card templates. Here you can see mine and the province specific designation that it hosts. Kin logos in three colors, a kin badge to add to any materials that you make, multiple templates for cards to clients for milestones or to engage with them, as well as event based promotion material that you can fill in with your business details. As you can see here, we have used last year's National Kin Week poster. I would now like to share with you one of the wonderful videos that the CKA has to offer and share with your clients on your social media platforms. This video has been made by BCAK. And in addition to this video, there are several other campaigns with videos and photos for sharing and educating that are prepared with you in mind. What's rewarding about being a kinesiologist is the lifelong relationships that you make with people. When you get to see people grow and be more confident and start to really love life again, there's no better feeling than that. So there's key areas that kinesiologists can work in. For injury assessment, we help our clients return to pre-injury quality of life through specific stretches and exercises that help reduce pain and improve function. Disability management is about a supporting employees' health and safety while at work. This could include things like functional capacity evaluations, return to work, safe moving and lifting techniques, all with the purpose of helping to either overcome or reduce injury. 
Exercise prescription is aimed at helping clients manage health issues such as diabetes, stroke, or even brain injury. The health and fitness side is great for people who maybe want to learn how to work out, just want to look and feel better, or even move into certain type of sports like skiing. So finally, we've got ergonomics, and this is where we look at the interface between the person and the environment. And the goal of ergonomics is to be able to provide guidance and support the physical demands in a safe and effective way. There's not really a typical day in the life of a kinesiologist. Uh, you can find us working in settings like clinics, one-on-one, -on -one, in teams, independently, in studios. But despite where we're working, we're always using the education that we gain in school. So anatomy, biomechanics, the human factors, and combine that with soft skills like leadership, collaboration, and coaching, all with the goal of helping our clients improve the quality of their life. The great thing about this profession is it's growing and changing so rapidly. We've got more recognition from other healthcare professions and the government. It continues to open more doors for kinesiologists to have a positive impact on the health of Canadians. At the end of the day, kinesiology is about people. It's about the ability to listen and respect who they are and what they need. So why should you join your Provincial Kinesiology Association and the CK? Well, they provide you a simple route to obtain your professional liability insurance, which is mandatory for your practice. Should there be an accident where the kin is at fault and without insurance, then everyone in the profession could be affected. All kins must also keep current by completing continuing education standards that are monitored by the CK, your PK, or the college in Ontario. For the CK, this is 60 credits over three years. It's fairly easy, but most important because this program ensures the quality and competency of the practicing kinesiologist in each province. All kinesiologists are responsible to uphold the code of ethics that are provided to them by their provincial association. Finally, provincial associations in collaboration with the CK provide specific professional advocacy. What does this mean? It means that the advancement of the profession is pursued by each PK and the CK and is advocated for at the government level. All of these points are based on the basic requirement for a profession to be recognized and thus legislated. Lawmakers look up to see how seriously our profession is structured to accept to legislate kinesiology in a province. Coming back to our six pillars, the second pillar that we will address is the structure of the profession. This section helps kins across Canada to obtain valuable information, such as the piece of information presented on this slide. The information is specific to your practice, guides you to your provincial legislation that applies to where your practice exists in Canada, links to your provincial association's website, and provides an overview of the code of ethics and scope of practice. Are you considering moving and practicing kinesiology in another province, or do you want to be able to practice kinesiology in more than one province? Fortunately for you, the information that you need to successfully navigate both of these questions can be found here. The scope of practice is the same across Canada, but its application and interpretation may be different from one province to another. When kinesiology becomes legislated in a province, it's the college or professional order that will manage its application to protect the public. But what about kins? This is another good reason to become a member of your PK, because they're the ones that protect and advocate on the behalf of kins. Did you know that to practice in any province, you need professional liability insurance? In Ontario, you must be a member of the college. In BC, if you want to have clients referred to you by ICBC, you must be a member of BCAK. And if you are to provide services virtually or online, you must comply with how the scope is applied in the province of the client. Remember, online services do not erase provincial borders. The definition of the scope of practice can be found on the KIN Startup Kit and CKA websites. In Canada, the scope is broadly defined and includes many fields of study for which no specialty is recognized in any legislation. Fields such as physiology, biomechanics, neurology, mobility, anatomy, psychology, sociology, these are all fields that are found in kinesiology curriculum across the country, as well as kinesiology practice. This means that when you complete your bachelor degree, you can perform acts related to these fields. Although specialties are not available professionally to kins, there are additional certifications that can be obtained. Speaking of studies, did you know that the CK is a main sponsor for the kin games? 
It's held at a different university in Canada each year, and the CKA brings the academic challenge to the games. So what does kinesiology look like in your province? Being informed about kinesiology in provinces that you do not live or practice in could really open your eyes to the differences in kinesiology practices in other provinces and possibly lead you to expand your knowledge base. Did you know that in Saskatchewan, there are only two universities you can go to for a kinesiology degree? Or that you have to write an entry to practice exam in Ontario and Quebec? Do you know who the Kinesiology Association in Alberta is? Find additional details on the legislation and governance of kinesiology, the scope of practice, and the recognition of kinesiologists in the national occupation classification. And finally, all that you need to know about your obligations as practicing kinesiologists and starting your career. In the third pillar, we will address if you should begin your practice or continue on to more studies. For new grads and practicing kins alike, in a young profession like kinesiology, information is always changing. If you are considering looking for a new job opportunity, advancing your education or research, making the move into a new field or industry that kins commonly work in, work in or postgraduate, the work or postgraduate section has the answers that you are looking for. It is not always easy to know what types of options are available to you, especially when you are new to the profession. In addition, many people still do not know what a kinesiologist does, what kind of training they have, or what they're professionally capable of. In educating yourself about the opportunities available to you, you will be able to define yourself as a professional, create opportunities for yourself in the workforce, and subsequently expand and strengthen the profession of kinesiology in your community. Kinesiologists across Canada have limitless options in terms of where they want to work and what they want their jobs to look like. Kinesiologists work as consultants, they're found in clinics, they work in case manager or administrative roles, and many other positions. Earlier, we saw some different titles that were used to name a kinesiologist, that it was different from one province to another. For example, only kins in Ontario can use registered kinesiologist. But if you're looking for a job, try looking for titles other than kinesiologist or descriptions with some of the words that are highlighted on the slide. Look into different work environments, municipalities, research organizations, public or private educational institutions. These are just some of the various places that a kinesiologist may work. Do you know what salary you should ask for? How about what income stats are important? In this section, you will find pertinent questions and a survey to guide your reflection before you make a decision about your next steps. Too many kins are pressured to continue their studies because they haven't had the opportunity to objectively evaluate all of their options. Try answering these questions. What population do you want to work with? What type of environment do you want to work in? And what is your overall career goal? If you do begin your practice, you will need a couple of resources and you're going to want to visit the fourth pillar of information. The resources, tools, and materials section provides you with resources such as forms and promotional material that you can use in your practice. Updating your health history and consent form and need some ideas? Are you taking on a new client and looking to screen them for red flags for undertaking their care? Do you want to make sure that your receipts are up to the standard? The forum section has all of these resources available to you in just one click. In addition to the promotional material templates that are provided, helpful links to association job postings, educational information about options for postgraduate studies, grant and scholarship opportunities, as well as information about leading client management systems for kinesiologists are just some of the fantastic resources that we have talked about in this presentation that can be found on the Kin Startup Kit website. Now, for many healthcare professionals, the question of owning their own business typically comes up at least once in their career. If this path of entrepreneurship interests you, the self-employed or start a business section of the Kin Startup Kit has been designed with you in mind. In this pillar, you will find constructive information and resources available to you, steps to help you successfully launch a business, tips on increasing your clients for new and existing businesses, and the information that you need to help you get started. It's all available here. Have you been self-employed as a kin or a business owner for a while already? Have you thought about becoming incorporated, being an employee or an independent contractor? 
Do you know about your business identification number? Do you know that this is also your HST or GST number? Do you need any of these? How to keep your clients' records and programs to follow up? Will you need a client relation management software? Do you need a bank of exercises to build programs for your clients? Hey, when was the last time that you updated your business plan? How about reviewed your business weaknesses and strengths to make improvements? Start here and continue to excel. Now, you're not sure which client management systems are available to you as a kinesiologist? Start a one-month free demo with HexFit or investigate programs such as PhysioTech to create personalized exercise programs for your clients and patients. HexFit is a tracking software for kinesiologists. The software is developed for kinesiologists by kinesiologists who truly understand the profession. HexFit includes a wide variety of features that help you in your day-to-day -day tasks as well as customer management, support, and care. Continuing education and the advancement of your knowledge as a kinesiologist is imperative to your success with your clients and patients. The Science of Kinesiology section in the Kin Startup Kit gives you easy access to research articles as well as informative videos. If you're a researcher or you're looking to publish your work, CKA is building a hub of information for you to submit your works to and be published on. Did you know that in some provinces, such as Newfoundland and Labrador, you need to submit to the continuing education activity section, and you do this in your CKA profile every three years to maintain good standing status. If you aren't sure what to do for these credits, the CKA provides a detailed list of the activities that count for credit on the main website, CKA.ca. On this list, you will find that you can earn credits for publications and research. Do you write blogs, articles, or opinion papers? What about research? Do you wish to be published? The CKA has different opportunities for you to publish your work and get to be known in the community. So why not start here? Advance your knowledge, expand your abilities, and grow the foundation of information for all CKA kids. Did you know that in November of 2020, the CKA hosted the first annual virtual National Kin Can Conference, where esteemed speakers spoke to the kinesiologists across the country about a variety of topics that enlightened and emboldened kins and their practices. Students could attend for only $10 over a weekend. There was a virtual trade show, a live Q&A with presenters at the top of their fields, and professional networking. It all took place at the conference with over 700 participants from across the country. See more here. And speaking of the awards, the CKA also hosted the first annual Canadian Kinesiology Awards, which are awarded for outstanding achievement in Canada's kinesiology industry. The CKA is pleased to recognize Canadian professionals for their achievements, a recognition of the symbol of excellence, as well as a powerful launching pad for careers, kinesiology clinics, and universities looking to establish themselves in a competitive marketplace. Awards for Kin of the Year, Event or Initiative of the Year, Researcher of the Year, and the Best Speaker of the Conference were all awarded to kinesiologists that were nominated and selected from across Canada. As we near the end of this presentation, I would like to share with you a video from the clients of kinesiologists. I can't sit in the car for long periods of time. I can't even sit through a movie. I was just projectiled across the intersection. I'd be paddleboarding and I'd feel this pain in my back. In industrial work site, injuries when they do happen, they can be severe. Shoveling continuously throughout the day, I just notice um, a sharp pain in my, my lower back. When you have lower back pain, it's actually crazy how much that influences other parts of your life. I would be worried about climbing upstairs, lifting something. It was actually a dual diagnosis of type 2 diabetes with hypothyroidism. Your brain, I, I think, sort of does go into a, um, a dead zone. 
My doctor suggested that I work with a kinesiologist. First, the kinesiologist did an assessment on uh, how I sat. It's helped to just, I guess, rebalance the issues I've had with my hip. I was able to paddle longer, my mobility came back. It keeps our workers at work, and if something goes wrong, it gets them back to work faster. I, I could have been out of work for an indefinite amount of time, and my life has been getting back to normal ever since. It makes such a big difference to be able to sit there and not feel pain when you're working. I actually finished my 10K. I always thought that my pain wouldn't go away, and it's completely gone. I'm back to lifting weight. I mean, I couldn't even lift a weight. It's a relationship that goes beyond simply um, the sort of prescription of uh, going to exercise classes. Now I've got my coworkers asking me about kinesiology. If you're feeling pain, I can't recommend seeing a kinesiologist enough. I wish I would have gone to a kinesiologist earlier. I just left it and left it. Because it will actually change your life. Yes. Yeah. We would like to thank our partners for their continued commitment and support of kinesiology across Canada and supporting kinesiologists in their practices. Your precious allies, your provincial associations, the CKA and PKA's partners bringing you preferred rates on essential things to your practice, professional insurance, continuing education opportunities, materials and software, with a special thanks to Hexfit Solutions for their involvement with students and the CKA and the PKA's in this program. And finally, to you. I would like to thank you for joining me in this presentation today and encourage you to reach out to us at coordinator at ck.ca with any specific questions you might have, as well as visit the websites at www.kinstartupkit.ca and www.cka.ca to learn more about kinesiology across Canada and how you can be on top of your game as a kin. Thank you.